A grand jury investigating the Trump 2020 election subversion case returns 10 indictments tonight. We'll share what we know about the case. A coffee shop in Monroe that prides itself on acceptance is vandalized. The message tonight from the cafe's owner. And a look at the relief and recovery effort in Maui a week after the massive wildfire left nearly 100 people dead. How you can help with the efforts there. It's all coming up ahead on News 3 Now at 10. We begin with breaking national news in the last hour and a half. A Georgia grand jury returned 10 indictments in the 2020 election subversion case. At this time, those indictments have not been unsealed, so it is unclear whether Trump himself is a defendant and what any charges would be. This is a live look right now outside of the courthouse in Fulton County where those indictments were returned. You can see law enforcement presence and the barriers all set up there. It's been on heightened security for the last week now, although there's not much of a crowd at all at the moment. Stay with channel3000.com and News 3 this morning for any updates as the indictments become unsealed. Well, we woke up in a lot of rain and even thunderstorms this morning, but now there seems to be an end in sight to the rain. Mm, that's a good thing. An earlier flood watch now canceled. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti has what's next in the first warrant forecast. Gary. Yeah, things are starting to wind down after a wet morning and early afternoon, but the uh, batches of showers and storms later in the day favored more southwestern Wisconsin and especially across northern Illinois. As we take a look at rain vision rainfall estimates, you can see that band of red from around Fond du Lac to northwest of Madison down toward Dubuque, Iowa. That area may have received anywhere from two to three inches of rain and maybe as much as four or five inches in parts of northeastern Iowa and Dubuque County. But outside of that, most areas saw one to two inches or more of rain. But you can see on high resolution radar now, the more concentrated areas of rain are out over southern Lake Michigan. There are a few light showers there. I just felt a drop or two of rain in the backyard. But for the most part, the precipitation that we see from here on out will be light if it occurs at all, and mainly in areas east of Madison. As we check out high temperatures today, the cloud cover and showers held uh, temperatures down. We had a little sunshine in Madison, made up to 72, but parts of southern Wisconsin didn't make it out of the 60s. And right now, temperatures are in the lower 60s. A few places are already in the upper 50s. Madison right now at 61 degrees, but here in Dane County, it's 61 in Sun Prairie and 63 in Stoughton. Look for uh, any showers to come to an end shortly after midnight. Then it'll turn partly cloudy and cooler by morning. Low temperature dropping to 55. We're back to sunshine and milder weather for tomorrow, and then a big warm up after that. I'll have more on that in the first one forecast in a few minutes. Well, just months after the city of Monroe and Greene County designated June as Pride Month, a small cafe there dealt with some vandalism workers feels this is discriminatory. Armand Rahman traveled to Monroe this afternoon to hear from the cafe's owner, and he has the story you'll only see on News 3 Now. Matt, Molly, Andy, Debbie, and then... Charlie is my daughter, Charlotte. Mad Charlie's Cafe sprouted and grew from a family's love. They say it was natural to have that love extend to a pride flag outside. Just so everybody in the community feels accepted. But seeing the flag and their pride sign ripped down and thrown in the bushes one morning? It was disheartening. It was uh, sad. It's very important. We want to be. A, we want to serve everybody. We're not going to discriminate against people coming in here. Our place is for everybody to enjoy. The sisters called the police because it's obviously a hate crime, and it's not the first time we've heard of something like this going on in our community. Monroe Police Chief Fred Kelly says they're still investigating, and that the owners tell him they had a business dispute recently. It would be hard for us to say that it was a hate crime based on just that limited experience. But he did say it isn't the first time something like this has happened in town. In a different location, about three weeks prior to that, where a pride sign was, um, I think, stolen in that case. Molly also posted the incident on Facebook. And now the flag flying right now isn't just a symbol of pride. It's a symbol of community support. Whitney Tree Service here in Monroe offered to come and restring our flag for us so that we could get the flag back up there. Whitney Tree Service didn't have to do that. Another nearby business, Edelweiss Gifts, donated two more flags. Honestly, the whole thing ended up being more of a refreshing thing for us because of the, how the community came out. Hoisting up their message even higher. Even when there's hate in the world, there's still a lot of love. In Monroe, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now.
Milwaukee is preparing for a visit from the Commander-in-Chief tomorrow. President Biden is set to make his sixth stop to the Badger State since taking office two and a half years ago. He will visit a wind turbine manufacturing facility and is expected to speak on the $1 trillion bipartisan infrastructure bill. His visit also comes a year after signing the Inflation Reduction Act into law. Of course, this all happening just eight days before the top Republican candidates will take the debate stage next Wednesday in Milwaukee for the first Republican presidential debate. We'll have full coverage of Biden's visit in Milwaukee, so stay with News 3 Now and Channel 3000.com throughout the day tomorrow. Authorities say they've found the body of a missing Madison man who was last seen nearly nine months ago in Rock County. The Rock County Medical Examiner this afternoon identifying a body found in an abandoned home Sunday as Christopher Miller. He hadn't been seen since last November after he allegedly ran during a traffic stop near Janesville. Authorities say they got an anonymous tip yesterday afternoon from someone who said they found a dead body inside an abandoned home in the town of Turtle outside of Beloit. That home was roughly six miles away from where he was last seen. A former UW-Madison student who made national headlines several years ago for a string of sexual assaults is back in jail. A Minnesota judge ruling that Alec Cook could be, should be civilly committed as a sexually dangerous person. Now, Cook was just involved in a Minnesota trial in mental health court where attorneys argued Cook was likely to reoffend. That argument caused the judge to civilly commit Cook as a sexually dangerous person. Now, according to the Minneapolis Star Tribune, he made national headlines back in 2016 when he faced over 20 felony charges for sex crimes against other students at UW-Madison. He served just three years in prison as prosecutors pushed for a sentence of more than 19 years. The judge will formally share his decision in court at a review hearing next Monday. Madison police say an empty bottle of alcohol was found inside the vehicle involved in a fatal crash last week on West Washington Avenue. A 25 year old man has been arrested and is now facing a homicide charge, although he hasn't been formally charged at this time. Authorities say an 83 year old man died from his injuries after being struck while trying to turn left onto Vilas Avenue from South Park Street. This is the first time I've said this. So you better hold on to your seats. But with the first pick in the 2025 NFL Draft, the NFL selects Green Bay, Wisconsin. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell making a stop in Green Bay today to speak about the city being awarded one of its largest off-season events, the NFL Draft. In May, Green Bay was selected as host city of the 2025 Draft. Still more than 20 months away now, but plans are already underway to transform Lambeau Field that weekend, possibly even putting the draft stage on the playing surface. Earlier this summer, state lawmakers approved $2 million in spending to stage the event, something Governor Evers says is worth it to bring the event to a state with a long-storied football history. What a better place than the oldest stadium built for football in the NFL, the home of the namesake of the Super Bowl trophy himself in Lombardi, and the home of the only NFL team owned by the fans. And sports director Zach Hanley will have more on Roger Goodell's visit to Green Bay a little bit later in sports. New at 10, it was a story that made way for an award-winning Hollywood movie, but the subject of that movie is speaking out. Former NFL lineman and Super Bowl champion Michael Orr says that Sean and Leanne Tui, who took him in as a homeless high school student, never adopted him, instead alleging they tricked him into signing documents making them his conservators. The story at the time was of a wealthy white family adopting a homeless black teenager who turned into a rising football star. It was later written about and immortalized in the 2009 movie The Blind Side with Sandra Bullock winning an Academy Award for her portrayal of Leanne Tui. In a petition filed with a Tennessee court, or alleges the Tuies have used their power as conservators to strike a deal to make millions of dollars in royalties from the film while Orr has received nothing for the story. Orr played part of eight seasons in the NFL, winning a Super Bowl ring with the Baltimore Ravens. Well, each day the death toll rises from the wildfires that ravaged Hawaii last week. The latest update, 99 deaths and hundreds of people still missing. While the recovery effort continues, the focus is shifting toward recovery. Jeff Newen shows us what Maui looks like one week after those fires started burning. 
Soldiers are combing through the burned out areas of Lahaina searching for victims. The death toll is expected to rise as they make their way through the scorched rubble. At least 1,300 are still unaccounted for. They will find 10 to 20 people per day probably until they finish. It's hard to um, recognize anybody, but they're able to determine if someone did perish. Survivors are still processing their trauma as they contemplate rebuilding their lives. It went from blue skies to gray to black. And all we seen was embers from fire that we had no idea what's going on. There was no siren, nothing. There were warning signs before the fire as 80 mile per hour winds lashed power lines. But officials did not shut off the power or stage fire crews before the flames tore through Lahaina as fast as a mile a minute. More than 4,000 people are in need of housing. Some evacuees are staying at this church where donations are pouring in to help them get back on their feet. To get the essential needs out to the people who really need it. We are working on a coordinated effort. Longtime resident Fleetwood Mac founder Mick Fleetwood lost his restaurant here. Selfishly, I haven't lost a family member. I didn't lose my house. It could have happened, mm -hmm. but it didn't happen. So you immediately go like, I'm really lucky. Now, what the hell can I do? He told CBS News he's committed to helping to preserve and rebuild Maui. Officials say that process will cost billions and take years. Jeff Nguyen, CBS News, Maui. Century Insurance is assisting with cleanup in Maui from the fire. It's made a donation of $275,000 to help with relief and recovery from the Inferno Maui, an important place for Century. It's been sponsoring the Century for the last six years, a golf tournament during the opening of the PGA Tour season that takes place each January on Maui. And there are many ways to help residents in there. If you'd like to donate money yourself, the American Red Cross accepting donations on its website or through phone call or text. You can donate $10. You can text Red Cross to 90999. More stories straight ahead at 10. What could have been a disaster at an air show in Michigan avoided a pilot and passenger eject from the aircraft. Amazingly, avoid that plane avoided folks on the ground. We'll have the complete story just ahead. When a clean, shiny truck pulls up in front of your house, yes. Everyone starts clapping because everyone is happy. And that's why they all start dancing. Woo! <laughs> Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Choose Flex Buy on a 2023 Ford Escape or Edge and get 2.9% APR financing for 66 months plus $1,000 Flex Buy cash. Only at your local Ford dealer. At Lawton Cates, your life counts is more than just a slogan. It's providing guidance after a serious accident. From the first phone call, we're by your side, helping with the important decisions. Not just for your medical care, but for your family's peace of mind. The Lawton Cates team combines experience and genuine compassion because we know how much is at stake. And we're dedicated to ensuring you can heal and move forward. At Lawton Cates, your life counts. Call today for a free consultation. We need to talk about Sonabello. We are getting rid of all of this, all of this today. Ladies, this summer you can cover up or feel confident from head to toe with Sonobello. One visit, permanent fat removal. Look at this shape. My tummy is gone and my hourglass shape is back. Wherever there is excess fat, we can remove it. That's what we do all day, every day. Sonobello's board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells for good. I could actually wear a two piece after 20 five years. I have one big regret. I didn't go sooner. Now, with our Best Body Summer event, you can schedule your free, no obligation consultation, plus save $250 off instantly. That's $250 off your stomach, hips and thighs, back, and so much more. Call 1-888-634-9939 or go to sonobello.com. When a clean, shiny truck pulls up in front of your house, yes! Everyone starts clapping because everyone is happy. And that's why they all start dancing. Woo! <laughs> Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. How 
do you do all of this? Chloe Bailey is unbreakable. Stretching is key. You ain't got to tell me, because I ain't going to try to do it, girl. <laughs> Plus, Kelvin Harrison Jr. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Madison Police Chief Sean Barnes will remain serving Madison after not being picked as superintendent of the Chicago Police Department. Barnes was one of three finalists for the role. He tells us he feels blessed to work for MPD, but that working for the second largest police department in the country was a dream of his. City leadership is also happy to see him stay. In a statement from this afternoon, Mayor Sachi Rhodes-Conway says in part, Chief Barnes will continue to be an asset to Madison as we focus on issues of concern and advance community safety. New tonight, a former Army specialist was sentenced to 30 years for her role in the murder of another soldier. Cecily Aguilar pleaded guilty last year in connection with a 2020 murder of Army specialist Vanessa Guillen in Texas. Guillen was stationed at Fort Hood, which has since been renamed Fort Cavazos. Aguilar's boyfriend at the time, specialist Aaron Robinson, was accused of killing and dismembering Guillen, but he killed himself in 2020, making Aguilar the only person charged in connection with Guillen's death. Guillen's family says they are happy justice is being served. You did a crime, you have to pay for it. Now she wants to ask for forgiveness, which is completely okay. Um, I'll keep that in mind, but what she did, it, it's never going to be taken back. Vanessa's never going to come back to us. According to testimony, Aguilar first told detectives Robinson held a gun to her head and demanded her help getting rid of Guillen's body. Aguilar later admitted that was a lie and they got the idea of how to dismember and hide Guillen's body from the TV show Criminal Minds. Her charges included one count of accessory to murder after the fact and three counts of making a false statement. For pilots and passengers, the hope is to never have to use the ejection seat, but they exist for a reason. And two people are grateful for that, escaping death at a Michigan air show by ejecting from a vintage fighter jet as it was crashing. Happened yesterday in the Detroit suburb of Belleville. The incident captured by at least three different spectators on the ground. You can see two tiny figures being shot out of the plane before it then crashes on the other side of those trees there. Now, amazingly, no one was on the ground, That no one was hurt who was on the ground. The plane only crashed into some parked vehicles at an apartment complex. The pilot and backseat passenger were taken to the hospital as a precaution. The FAA and NTSB are now investigating. Wisconsin is investing some major dough into the building famous for making cream puffs. For 99 years, the Cream Puff Pavilion has been the center of the Wisconsin State Fair, but the team that makes the pastry says they've outgrown their space. That's why in 2017, $6 million were earmarked to renovate the pavilion, and this year an additional $6.5 million was approved in the state budget for the project. The plan looks to improve aesthetics and productivity. During the run of the fair, during 11 days, we are the busiest bakery in the world. 400,000 cream puffs in 11 days. Another hope with this renovation is to market the Cream Puff Pavilion as an event venue outside of the 11 days of the fair. According to the original budget proposal, renovation could begin in March of next year. Well, Gary's back with another check of the first warrant forecast and all that rain we saw today. Certainly much needed considering how dry the summer's been. Yeah, you know, but the, the problem with this drought is there are areas that have gotten a lot of rain and areas mm -hmm. that haven't gotten any rain. And, yeah. you know, hopefully this at least filled in some of the gaps. So let's take a look at some of the rainfall totals. These are the uh, rainfall reports actually uh, gathered by the National Weather Service and through social media. Uh, 4.15 inches in Horicon and 3.2. 6.2 inches in Brownsville, that's in Dodge County. Hartford, almost 3 inches. Fort Atkinson, 2.5. Here at the station, just shy of 2 inches. Palmyra uh, also picked up 1.92 inches of rain. If you look at the uh, radar estimates, this is from Rain Vision over the last 24 hours, you can see the band, clearly see the heavier band of, of rain from uh, the, it's just south of the Fox Valley, uh, south of Fond du Lac to uh, Columbia County, northern Dane County. It's a narrow band, about maybe oh, 15 to 20 miles wide where there was a good two to almost four inches of rain. Again, you can see that band uh, from your Fond du Lac. These are radar estimates, but some of these uh, totals are actually low compared to some of the actual ground reports, especially in areas that receive a more steady rain. 
the, this radar estimate does much better when you're dealing with thunderstorm type activity. The lighter rain that's more persistent tends to underestimate that. But you can see that band through uh, DeForest, northern portion of Dane County over toward Black Earth and uh, Cross Plains. And then you just follow the line right through Dodgeville, from, uh, Mineral Point down to Platteville. And then some pretty heavy totals on the western end of the line across uh, Dubuque, Iowa or Dubuque County. Uh, several areas picked up almost five inches of rain. They had flash flood warnings there. But now just some very light showers rotating southward. The main area of low pressure aloft has shifted off to the east. The more persistent areas of rains are farther out to the east. And you can see a uh, six-hour future track radar shows maybe some light showers mainly east of Madison drifting from north to south, but not much in the way of additional rainfall. Again, the heavier rain from earlier has now shifted eastward into Michigan, heading toward Detroit and to the west. No rain there. Uh, that's a good sign, at least to dry out for tomorrow. In fact, three things you need to know in the forecast. We're back to sunny skies and a milder day tomorrow. High temperatures in the upper 70s. And it'll be mainly dry for the next 10 days. I'm not looking for much rain through uh, the end of next week. And then uh, you can see high temperatures in the lower 90s, especially as we head from Sunday through Wednesday of next week. In fact, the 8 to 14 day temperature outlook from the Climate Prediction Center, almost the entire lower 48 states expected to see uh, above normal temperatures with the, far, the exception of far northern New England. And precipitation expected to be below normal from Madison southward. So. Right now, uh, we're going to see a warm and mainly dry forecast for the next 10 days. 77 tomorrow, we start that dry trend with mostly sunny skies and plenty of your day across Dane County. High 75 Mount Vernon, 75 in Pine Bluff, 77 in DeForest. Should be a great day overall. Rest of southern Wisconsin, 76 Janesville, 74 in Monroe, and 76 for the high temperature at Camp Douglas. First one, 7 to 10 day forecast up to 83 on Wednesday. It'll be a little breezy. Could see a few thunderstorms Wednesday night. Any showers will end early on Thursday morning. Temperatures drop a little bit for Thursday. Get back in the mid 80s on Friday, upper 80s on Saturday. Saturday, and then 90 or above from Sunday through Wednesday. Just a slight chance for a thunderstorm on a cold front Wednesday, and then temperatures maybe drop back into the lower 80s by Thursday of next week. Gary, thank you. There is another looming strike, this time involving the big three U.S. automakers. We are a month away before the UAW contract expires, and the White House is now starting to weigh in. President Biden issuing a statement today urging both sides to work together to reach a fair agreement. However, both sides are reportedly quite far apart. The union demanding significant pay raises of at least 40% to match the pay increases of the chief executive officers at Ford, GM, and Chrysler that they've gotten over the past four years. The union said it's making plans for a strike authorization vote. And coming up in sports, Luke Fickle has that competitive spirit. Where it came from and how he's using it during fall camp. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. The Agora Art Fair returns Saturday, August 19th in Fitchburg, showcasing the work of over 100 area artists in a variety of mediums. Plus, great live music, food, hop house, beer and wine garden, and lots of fun activities for the kids. Visit agoraartfair.com. Hopefully, your family will never need to hire a personal injury lawyer. But if you ever do, it's important to understand that not all law firms are the same. A lot more is involved than one phone call and a quick settlement. To make things right again, it can take time, and it will take talent. Since 1930, Habish, Habish & Rotier has recovered more million-dollar results for our clients than any other law firm in Wisconsin. Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation. Hometown service. Visit your Volkswagen dealer today and get a $7,500 lease bonus on a new 2023 all-electric ID4. Want a tighter, flatter tummy and the hottest deal of the year? Then check out new Ab EX from Sonobello. After my pregnancies, my body just never bounced back. I had this stomach overhang that made me self-conscious. 
Emotionally, it was really sad. Feeling good up here, but you look down and you don't. After having my babies, it went in different direction. From here, it went to here, and I just couldn't get rid of that. Introducing Ab EX from Sonobello. Remove fat and lose excess skin permanently in just one visit. I got the tummy tuck results without the tummy tuck downtime. And I finally got the flat stomach I wanted. I'm able to get back in my size eight jeans. I feel sexy. I feel confident. It just it feels good to feel good and look good. Schedule your free no obligation consultation now and find out how to get your dream body on your budget with our best offer of the year. Call or go to sonobello.com and get exclusive access to our employee only pricing. The Agora Art Fair returns Saturday, August 19th in Fitchburg, showcasing the work of over 100 area artists in a variety of mediums. Plus, great live music, food, pop house, beer and wine garden, and lots of fun activities for the kids. Visit agoraartfair.com. Fickle has an aura around him that just screams competitor. He loves to compete, and it started at an early age with his wrestling background. In high school in Ohio, Fickle was a three-time state champ. In fact, he closed out his wrestling career with 106 straight wins. That success translated to his domination in the trenches at Ohio State, and now he's using his wrestling background to bring the juice at Wisconsin's fall camp. People have asked me, like, okay, hey, if you were a football coach, what would you be? And I say, I'd be a wrestling coach, probably a high school wrestling coach. I think more than anything, it just kind of trains your mind. One-on-one, -on -one, it's an individual sport, and it is a competition every single day. And I think that's the environment that I try to create as much as anything. That's why I stay off the social media stuff. Um, you know, but I don't do that anymore. I don't wrestle anymore, unless provoked. The first AP poll of the college football season is out, and like the coaches poll, the Badgers are in the top 25. Wisconsin enters at 19 and is one of five Big Ten teams ranked in the poll, joining Michigan, Ohio State, Penn State, and Iowa. Fresh off their preseason opening win in Cincinnati, the Packers were back in title town preparing for Saturday's tune-up with the Patriots. There was a special guest in town. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell was taking in the sights and sounds of training camp. And he also shared his thoughts on why Green Bay is the perfect place to hold the NFL draft when it comes to title town in 2025. Believe it or not, the second in, in Wisconsin. Milwaukee actually hosted the draft in 1940, I believe it was. So you have a long history in the draft. And in 2025, it will actually be our 90th draft. So I can't think of a better place to be able to do that than right here. The Ballard season came to an end tonight in Green Bay. The Rockers walked it off in the ninth to win the game and the series. Five to four was the final. A longtime Verona head girls basketball coach Angie Murphy is calling it a career. In 19 seasons roaming the sidelines, she led the Wildcats to 323 wins, five trips to state, and a Division I state title in 2016. We're back after this. We're busy. <laughs> I get it. So Stanton Optical works with your schedule. Buy online, pick up in-store, same day, and get a free fitting. I mean, look at my to-do list. Skip the wait. Get your kids' glasses made the same day, only at Stanton Optical. running have been together for a while now. Fact is, so has Morgan's Good Form Running. We're here to help runners achieve their goals and push their limits in every sport or adventure they pursue. That kind of performance demands real innovations in technology, shape, and fit. And we're experts in all of it, so no matter why you run, your best race starts here. Morgan's Good Form Running, Hilldale. Hey, hey, you're tuned in to Better Halves. Skip, I love my hometown, and I want a health plan that feels the same way. So what are your favorite local date spots? Oh, me, um, yeah, I know like like all the date spots in 
Eclair. Ooh. Jane, I'm Steve from security. I've lived here in Wisconsin my whole life, and that means I understand your health coverage needs better. By the way, Doug, it's Eau Claire. I have a dozen Eclairs in my dressing room. America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Choose Flex Buy on a 2023 Ford Bronco Sport and get 3.9% APR financing for 66 months plus 500 Flex Buy cash only at your local Ford dealer. Get 11% off everything at Menards and take care of all your automotive needs. Get superior protection with Shell Rotella Full Synthetic Diesel Engine Oil. It's designed to improve wear protection and provide excellent corrosion control. Pick up a gallon for only $21.99 after rebate. Railback High Energy Alkaline Batteries are perfect for powering everyday devices. And a 24-pack will ensure that you're covered. Only $8.99 each after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Stanton Optical, you get great value on eye care, including contacts. Right now, get a one-year supply of AccuView Oasis and an eye exam for only $189. Scan now to book your eye exam. Yay, technology! The Republican Party's historic link to Wisconsin, Thursday at 6. Steven Spielberg was already an established Hollywood director 30 years ago when Jurassic Park came out, but the movie, which brought dinosaurs to life on the silver screen, is considered one of his best and is making a return to theaters later this month in honor of its 30th anniversary. Upon its release, moviegoers marveled at the groundbreaking animatronics and CGI dinosaurs. It'll be back at the cinema beginning Thursday, August 24th. That is unbelievable. 30 I years know. since Jurassic Park. Final check with Gary. Yeah, the rain is winding down. Uh, there's a live view from the uh, Edgewater Sky Camp downtown Madison. A little haze out there, but you can see uh, high resolution radar. Most of the rain now can find it southeastern Wisconsin. Uh, it's possible there could be an isolated shower, mainly east of Madison, over the next couple of hours. Fog really not much of an issue. There's enough of a breeze out there to mix up the air, but we'll keep an eye on that. Otherwise, temperatures right now, lower 60s and upper 50s will be in the mid 50s by morning but sunshine by tomorrow afternoon all right gary thank you thanks for joining us for news three now at 10. do something good and we'll see you back here tomorrow